and welcome back, podcast listeners. You are tuning in to the continuation of our fascinating interview with Rushi Song B, the first female engineer from Facebook. You know, they say that a lot of students are held back from entering these fields because it seems so difficult and the stereotypes seem so difficult to break. What is your advice for young people who are kind of on the fence about, well, there's a lot of great jobs and a lot of pros to it, but math is hard or I'm scared about facing some of those difficult challenges? Well, I think some of the things that hold students back is that um, early on, they don't necessarily have a strong base in math, science, technology, and engineering. And at the end of the day, people like doing what they're good at. So if you don't have a strong base, it's re- it becomes an uphill battle to become good at that particular field. And then there are a bunch of insecurities about, you know, will I ever be able to catch up? I only started using a computer when I was 16. All of these guys have been using it since they were five. Um, and am I ever going to be good at it? Um, I think I think one of the most interesting things about technology is that it's a constantly changing field. You don't have to know everything at any point in time, and the only way you can be really good at it is if you're constantly learning and updating yourself. So there's plenty of opportunity to catch up. There's plenty of opportunity to learn about new things. For example, the iPhone didn't exist 10 years ago, but it existed in the last five years. And if you learned how to develop for the iPhone in the last five years, you'd be really good at your job. Um, So I think the thing that I would say is that it's a constantly evolving field. You don't need to know everything, and you don't need to be at the same pace as everyone else because you will always have the opportunity to learn something new and become really good at it. I think that's wonderful advice. Rushi, how is it that you think that the media can get more involved in promoting science, engineering, and technology and helping to break those stereotypes and encourage more young people? Well, one of the things that I feel that the press often cares about is founders, They care about founders, they care about managers, they care about public personalities that have told an interesting story. But I think they fail to see the people who work behind the scenes, the people who are extremely talented and actually build the products, Um, the people who spend the time figuring and identifying how to build, debug, fix, iterate on these products. So I think one of the things the media can do that would be really helpful is find these people who work behind the scenes, who may not be the public face of the company, who may not be a founder, um, to then inspire young people all around. I mean, obviously, in many ways, one of those behind-the-scenes people is you, which makes you that great role model for young people and a perfect person um, to be talking to today. Are there any traits that you would recommend for the role models, the other people like you in the world to say, if we all have these traits and display these attitudes, we will be able to help change attitudes and behaviors and get more kids interested in these careers? I think role models need to be passionate. Um, As role models who have been in the field and who have actually enjoyed the benefits of the field, for example, technology is an amazing place to work at. it, it, you earn an amazing salary and you have a fantastic life. Um, I think one of the things that we could do is make technology more accessible and interesting. When people think of physics, math, they think of quantum mechanics um, or string theory. They don't really think of what they could potentially do to it for it or how they can contribute to it. So it's not really accessible for young people. And as role models, I feel that we can make technology more accessible. It's also not sexy. It's not fun. Um, It doesn't, like, you know, you could study design and become a fashion designer. You could study literature and become a journalist. Um, It doesn't, it's not tangible and sexy and fun for people around, and I think that we could also make a huge effort in rebranding it and explaining why it's sexy and why it's fun and why it's accessible. And the last thing I would say is that as As people who gain traction and are able to contribute to the field um, and can be potential role models, their lives get really busy and they forget to be role models. Um, People, I mean, students don't know who to reach out to, so I think it's a prerogative of potential role models to reach out to students and convince them of why it's a worthy field. 
And in our final seconds, you said something really thrilling. We need to rebrand it to make it sexy and fun. So in the last 30 seconds, tell us, Rushi, how you would rebrand it. Wow, that's a tough question. That would take years of work, not just 30 seconds of thinking. I would rebrand it in the following way. I think everything we do today is being made more efficient, being made more accessible, being made more fun because of technology. Um, whether it's entertainment, whether it's TVs, whether it's, you know, whether it's like your cars, whether it's driving across different advertising billboards, um, whether it's interesting new pieces of technology like up and the Fitbit bracelet that tracks the number of steps you take and the calories you've burned. So everything is becoming more interesting, more efficient, more entertaining because of technology. And I think one really needs to think about what that means. It's not about sitting, being glued to a computer or thinking of quantum mechanics or watching the apple fall from the tree and thinking of the theory of gravity. It's more about how you can be creative, what design principles can you use, which disciplines can you collaborate with, um, how can you create a piece of art and build um, for the better of others. And I think those are the things that we need to rebrand. I think Steve Jobs actually has done a wonderful job rebranding what working, building, creating technology means. Wonderful. Rushi, thank you so much for spending time with us today. And of course, for those of you listening, if you'd like to learn more, you can log on to eiconline.org slash ready on the set. Thanks, Rushi. Thanks so much. Covering topics as diverse as mental health, substance abuse, sun safety, and science engineering and technology, EIC serves as a bridge between topic experts and those creating the stories. We applaud media that informs audiences while entertaining them. And we thank you for listening and being a part of the art of making a difference.